This is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to create a Selenium test engine project within Gradle built-in tool. Because previously we learned about how to create a Selenium test engine project within Maven built-in tool. But now we are going to learn how to create a Selenium and test engine within test engine project within Gradle uh, built-in tool. Because nowadays people are uh, many people, many organizations switching from Maven to Gradle. And that is why Gradle tool is very very important. Uh, I already started the series of the Gradle tool, how basically Gradle tool we have to use, uh, what is meant by the Gradle, this basic stuff, so I already started. I'll just try to understand how basically we have to create a Gradle project, Selenium test engine within Gradle project. So guys, whenever we want to use that term, simple, we have to click on the file option and you have to click on the new project, okay? New and you have to click on the project option. Once you click on the project option, you can see guys, this is the window is going to open up over here. I just need to use over here Selenium, test ng test ng with gradle this is the title i'm giving over here guys okay selenium test ng with gradle this is title i'm giving over here i'm selecting the language as a java and i'm selecting the build system as a gradle okay this is what exactly i'm selecting guys and once this is done i just need to click on this create project okay once i click on the create project you can see i'm going to open this project on the new window you can see this new window is going to open up over here you can see yeah, the, the by default Gradle project is whatever dependencies we are having, those dependencies start downloading over here. You can see guys, now it will take some time for downloading your dependencies. It's completely depend on your uh, internet speed, but hold on, don't don't be uh, don't be worried if, if, if it is going to take some time, okay? So you can see guys, uh, it, it's going to download all dependencies. So, so, uh, so, so once, once this is done, you can see guys, it's almost done and the by default main class is going to create over here. I'm going to close this mail class. And uh, do you remember guys, while creating the Selenium project with an Maven built-in tool, our pom.xml file is going to open. Uh, here you can see by default, by default pom.xml file was going to open. But here you can see guys, your build.gradle.kts file is by default opening over here. And you can see this is how the basic skeleton of the build.gradle. So, uh, in the Maven built-in project, we used to, we, we used, uh, if you want to add the dependencies, that time we used the pom.xml file. But here, whenever we want to add the dependency compulsory, what we have to do guys, we have to add the dependencies in a build.gradle file. So how basically we can able to search those dependencies. So guys, simple, whenever you want to search those dependency, uh, you just need to again revisit to your Maven repository stuff. Once you re revisit to your Maven repository, so simple, you have to search over here Selenium and you can see you just need to click on the search button. Once you click on the search button, you can see the Selenium Java option we are having. You just need to click on the Selenium Java option version, whatever version you want to pick up, simple pick up that version guys. And you can see guys, uh, probably you might have this tab is selected, which is named as a Maven tab. Now you need to shift on this Gradle Kotlin tab you want to switch guys. Okay guys, I simple just need to copy this dependency. Once I've copied this dependency, what I need to do guys, I just simply need to paste this dependency over here, where here in this tool. And once I added a dependency, you can see Selenium dependency I added over here. Then after that, I'm going to search the another dependency, which is named as a test engine. Once I click on the test engine, you can see guys, my test engine is going to open up over here. And you can see I'm picking up the latest version of the test engine. Once I'm picking up the latest version of the test engine, just use this Gradle Kotlin test engine dependency over here. Just copy this dependency over here and you have to paste this dependency here, guys. Okay. This is what exactly we are usually doing. And once this is done, you don't need to uh, keep this JUnit dependency. Okay. Because, because, uh, because if, uh, because we added the test engine dependency over here. So you don't need to keep, uh, keep the JUnit dependency. Once we added this dependency over here, guys, you, what you have to do, you just need to, what you have to do guys, you just need to use over here. You, you, you added the task here, use a JUnit platform. Instead of use JUnit platform, simple, you have to use, use test ng. Okay, this platform you have to use. Use, just a minute, it's, it's going to open up. Use the test ng, you can see. This platform, basically, we have to use guys, okay? Once we use this platform, simple, uh, what you have to do, you just need to simple the uh, build the uh, whatever dependencies if you are having, just build those dependencies, just load the build.gradle file. These are the three actionable items basically you have to do in a build.gradle file, okay? Once your building is done, then what we are, we are going to do, we are going to create the one more class in a test ng, uh, in, in, a, in, a, uh, in a test Java folder. Let me quickly create side by side the class over here, guys. 
Okay, so before that, I'm just creating the package over here. Basic uh, script. This is the package I'm going to create over here. And in this package, I'm going to create a one more class here. Okay, one more Java class I'm going to create. Basic test case. Okay, this is what class I'm just creating over here. Java class I'm going to create over here. And once I created the Java class, guys, what exactly I need to do? I just need to copy my previous. You can see this is my previous code we have, uh, and I'm just uh, simple copying uh, whatever uh, test cases I'm having. Simple, I'm going to copy that test case. That. That's it, guys. Okay. Once we are done with this thing, I'm just pasting my test case over here, and you can see, guys, what exactly happened. Once this is done, if I'm going to run my program, you can see, guys. Ideally, my Amazon uh, website should be open over here successfully. This is what my expectation after adding the dependencies of the Gradle dependencies of this element SMG in a build.gradle file. You can see, guys, my SKS is going to run, and you can see my browser is going to open. Amazon.in website is also going to open successfully over here. This is how basically we can able to create the, the Selenium test engine project with the help of the Gradle, guys. That, that's it for today. Thanks, thanks for thanks for watching. This.